A can of carrots shipped overnight to headquarters without peas. Season's greetings, Carrot, said the detective. He stepped out for a smoke. The oyster house was for sale, the cigar shop, the boat yard, the businesses sold for sale signs. Even the criminals had gone back to the land. Before escaping, Turtle Dove made a list of her crimes. Locked doors, broken dolls, faulty DNA. She left the list where the detective would find it. There were dangers in reading such lists, but he would be all right. A new kind of surgery was in the works. Vessels linked in an endless loop. Oxygen waiting like mad as it comes round the bend. Thank you for your letter. I'm examining it with my lens. Examining the very fiber. Grease stain, fingerprint. Fighter jets circle overhead. I smell their fumes. Nothing would be wrong, you write, if the surgeon hadn't told so many jokes. I twist the rod that opens the blinds. Out on the street, ad man passed jars of peanut butter and spoons. You wish to discuss words, most of them hyphenated. Seesaw, tick-tock. You mention the lack of suited ushers at the movies. A cave with two mirrors. I'm waiting for you at the depot, you write. So I carry your letter there and hold the page to the sky all day and into the next. Birds settle and unsettle in the pines. Just as temporarily, I'll offer them my heart. This is um, called Revolutions. And what thrilled me more than anything was that they were able to fit the whole poem on one page. That was important in this case. Close the book. The new century has enough problems. Today, for instance, we made a date, but you phoned back and said you had the plague. How long since we've agreed on anything? So I went alone to see the conical protrusions. They were chopped and laid lengthwise like a six-course meal. Aha, you said when I described them. It boils down to food and sex. As soon as we have enough, a reasonable appetite, a bit of light. We fill books and canvas with punishment and deprivation. I didn't see it that way at all. We'd never had enough. Too little need, too few darkening rooms. Then I wanted to be left in peace. A customer entered the wash and dry, asked me to remove a spot no one but she had noticed. I sent her away. The other laundress is an artistic woman. She tells her man he might be handsome if it weren't for his face. Some men find that kind of talk sexy. They watch how she sways with her iron, stares lovingly at the bleach. Out backs a stand of hemlock and birch. Grackles pour down at night to settle in the branches. Deer step, shy, then bold, to eat by moonlight. For how long? You sob all night in the deep woods. Life begins with the sin of sound, I say, but someone should pray for us. Come morning, you fetch me from work, bearing roses the color of coal, and we stand together on the corner of the brightening lane.